everyone, it's Jen. Hope you all had a good holiday. We, um, our whole household was very sick the past couple weeks, so it's been kind of nutty. Um, although everyone's holiday seems to be kind of nutty. It's just a busy time of year. So I've been wanting to do a video and just haven't had a chance. And today the girls went back to school and my husband went back to work and so it's quiet. And my craft room is an absolute disaster because my daughter and I were doing a little crafting yesterday. So I just shoved everything aside and decided I'm going to make a quick video. Just want to share a couple of cards I made and... Another little gift that I made, my, my older daughter turned 15 on Christmas Eve, so her, her birthday always gets jumbled up with the holidays, but I had made her this card, and um, I was going for something a little bit more colorful. It seems like when I make stuff, it is either vintage grungy or mixed media, and I can't do anything else. <laughs> I try and start out and make a bright and colorful, very simple card, and and I just can't do it. But, so this was the end result. Um, I just got um, this new stamp. This is Stamping Bella, I'm sorry, Stamping Bella um, Ivy Quito is her name. And there is the information. But I um, just took a, a pre-existing dotted card that I had and put this paper on it and did some stamping with some paint and added a little bit of distressed paper behind it. Um, this red plastic netting is actually from a tangerine bag, a bag that the tangerines come in. So I just used pieces of that and put a little safety pin with a couple little charms on there. Um, I colored Keto with um, my um, Tim Holtz Distressed inks and just um, put them on a stamping block and added a little water and just used a real fine paintbrush to paint her up. And embossed the happy birthday sentiment and then just added some steam, seam binding with some little eyelets there and added a little bit of bling and that was it. So she really liked that. And then I also just recently, um, actually I was, sometimes I start off just fooling around and have no intention of making a card, but I had, I got some of the watermark um, resist ink or I guess it's not ink, but the watermark was this pad. And I made this blue piece of paper. So these, um, this is a piece of glossy card stock that I stamped. These little white hearts were with the, I stamped it with the watermark resist. And then I put blue um, archival ink over the top of it and then the little you know where there is the resist you see the little white hearts and then I also stamped on it with the same heart stamp with black archival ink so and then I just made a quick card out of this after making that I cut out these hearts with the Tim Holtz die and did some embossing on there used a glitter pen to just highlight the little hearts that I had embossed on there and then embossed another stamp. So pretty basic. And then I made this little, I just put this in my daughter's stocking. I made that little um, bottle cap. It says music. My, um, my older daughter Mia is, actually both my daughters are very into music and band and jazz band. But my older daughter plays the clarinet, and she plays the tenor saxophone. Oh, I put a little, put a little magnet in there so that would stay closed. Um, but I just made her this little pack of note cards, and the stamp set that I got, I specifically bought for her. Let me move these so you can see this. Um, it was. TPC Studios, I think it was their vintage music, but it has a saxophone and a clarinet. So when I saw that, I grabbed it, and then what I did was I just took my um, Tim Holtz envelope die 
and made all these little envelopes and I just cut the top off and then used a circle punch there and just grunge them up a little bit again I was not planning on making these grungy but that's the way they came out um, and so I just cut out a couple of layers and stamped a place for her to put a note and then stamped and cut out on each one either the saxophone it's just plain on the back or the clarinet See, and then here's the clarinet one. So I figure she has a lot of her um, friends that are also in band. And um, so I just thought that um, she could use these for little notes for her friends or whatever. So I think that's all I have to share. I, um, over the holidays, ordered my first set of... Copic markers I have coming and so I've never never done any coloring with the Copics um, and I've been looking at them for a long time and I know there is a price increase as of January 1st so I found a site um, that had a really good price um, I think it was um, Stamps Alive and um, the woman who runs it is out of Nevada. So I placed my order. They should be here in about a week. I know I have a lot to learn as far as um, coloring with them. But I'm excited. And um, I know my younger daughter has been doing, um, starting to learn some cartoon drawing. So she'll be able to use them as well. But that's my goal for 2013 is to you know, try and learn how to use those a little bit. So, um, oh, the other thing I wanted to share, um, kind of a sneak peek. Oh my goodness. I started, I went away to a crop in November and had started a mini album that I'm doing of all of my favorite pictures of my girls from when they were young. And so I will give you just a sneak peek. I'll go through it in much more detail. I have five layouts I'm doing in here and I have three of them done. This one I have to add a little bit to the tags. It's going to be a very chunky mini but I will go through it in great detail when I finish it and so I'm trying to set myself a goal. I have two more layouts to do and the cover which I haven't done anything to yet but I would like to have this done Definitely in the next couple of months, but I would love to have it done by the end of January. But it seems like every time I do a layout like this, it takes me at least two days. Um, I'm crazy slow at it. But when I get that all done, I'll do a full video and um, go into detail and share that. So hope everyone's having a great day, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.